All right, boys. Today we're getting like 10 Diet Coke bottles to spice up today's video a little bit. So we're gonna need one of these. Yer. All right, so we got the 10. So for every single part, we're gonna explode one of these. Oh, we all coked up now. I'm just gonna throw these Johnson here. Might have to pull a, a Nelk Boys Coke prank on the cops. All right, so I haven't emptied my oil catch can and like ever since I made the video, like I've never emptied the oil catch cans. I know you're supposed to do it every like three to six months. Uh, it's been eight. Let's see what it looks like. So that's how much we got in there. I don't even know how much that is. Oh, it looks like coffee. But don't, don't buy Burger Motorsport ones. I got Webby's ones coming out soon. So buy them hoes. They're cheaper and better. Pour one out. Yeah, that literally is so freaking white. Like, look at the difference. All right, I gotta put it back on there nice and tight. And that concludes our tutorial on how to clean a butthole. All right, so let's get on with the video. Hey, it's gonna be part three of the series I've had of all E9X, N54, N55 parts under $100. The last two videos did really well and I posted something on my Instagram asking for you guys' help for what parts I should add to this list. A few guys said things that I haven't done yet, so thank you guys for the help. So I have a list here on my phone of like 16 parts. I bought the Diet Cokes before I made the list, so I thought I was only gonna be able to come up with 10. Surprisingly, I did come up with 16. Some of it is gonna be like little random shit that doesn't really matter. This is another 16 options to go with, so hopefully, if you guys are like running out of mods or starting to mod and you're kind of on a budget, this video hopefully helps you guys out. We got our good old trusty Diet Cokes here. So for the first 10 parts, we're gonna be exploding these. Here's to the, the first part, $18 right here is teeter. I really hope this is not, what if this smashes my windshield? It's expanding. Oh, oh my God, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I was not expecting that. Sponsored by Diet Coke. Holy shit, dude. I was not ready for that. All right, so the first one on the list for today, it's just carbon fiber rear fin. So I don't have like majority of these parts because I kind of just like made up this list, but I don't have them all yet. So they go right down here. And if you have the M style tech like rear bumper, it like all flows nicely, especially if you have a carbon fiber diffuser. So if you guys are trying to like make your rear end more aggressive, right now mine is very bare. I just have exhaust tips and a spoiler, and I'm really trying to get an M tech rear bumper, but I'm not trying to pay like hella money so i'm trying to get like a bootleg ebay one broke boy things and then i probably will eventually get to canard so i do have them available on my website for 99.99 so it is one cent under 100 dollars. so those look super sick really makes the rear end more aggressive so so on to number two gotta hit that shake weight oh that's landing perfect oh oh my god <laughs> holy shit that one was definitely higher than the other one for sure. Sponsored <laughs> by Daiko. Holy shit. All right, number two on the list. I already had this in one of the other ones. In the previous one, I had oil catch can. Very soon, I am getting Webby's oil catch can. I don't have them fully manufactured yet, but it is in the workings. So it looks exactly like this oil catch can here by the same exact people who make the ones from Burger Motorsport. They're gonna be going for right around $100 on the dot. So same exact quality as Burger Motorsport for cheaper and you get to rep your boy's website. Exactly similar to this. It's just gonna have uh, engraved Webby's on it. So that's gonna be super sick. I'm pretty excited for that. Those should be added to the website very soon if they're not already. This one goes to number three. It'd be so funny if I was just like this and then someone who came by the road would be like, all right, what the f is going on there? <laughs> Bring that ass here, boy. Oh, it's not gonna explode. There's an old man over there. We'll keep this on the plant so it can keep them watered, just like that. You know, I just, what can I say? I just care about the environment. It's Earth Day, all days of the year for me. Number three is two of them. So we have the E9X magnetic mount. So these are available on the website. These are very popular parts now. So it's these right here. All you gotta do, it comes with a magnet on the back. Just magnetic mount like that. Have it any way you can. I mean, I've, I've hit corners really fast. I've done all that. It likes to like come down a little bit. That I've only find that happens very occasionally, not all the time. This is like a life changer. 
And then the second thing is Vader Solutions Clip. If you guys don't have the navigation screen, this is probably the option I would go with. It clips right into right here, and then it actually holds your tablet. So if you guys do run a tablet in your car, that is like the perfect thing to do under $100 to hold it up. So I strongly recommend that, especially if you use MHC to look at like boost and all those gauges and shit. Number four, we're going to give to Colin. All right, let's see what Colin got. This one goes to number four. Better pick that bitch up again and chug it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sponsored by Coke and you're making us look bad right now. So, all right, we're gonna go uh, retrieve our sprinkler system. It seems to have slowed down significantly. I can't say that word. The Diet Coke vape. Number four on the list is not fun, but it is something. It's just a front license plate mount relocator. For my boys who don't want to drill into their front bumper, uh, I live in Maryland and you can't have your shit in the front windshield. I know some states like are iffy on whether or not you're allowed to have on your windshield. I got pulled over for it and I had to do this in order to fix it. I would rather have no license plate. Shitty Maryland, shitty laws, so what are you gonna do? Probably the most popular part on the website for some reason, but it is. Now, number five has a long list of sub parts on it. I'll explain that in a second, right after uh, we sacrifice the Diet Coke. Dude, what if this shit hits me in the head? I'm gonna try it. Oh, bruh. Kobe, oh, rip. Oh! I it was Sponsored by Coke. That tastes like ass. Literally just tastes like rocks. I don't know what that tastes like, honestly. Number five for this is a long list, like I just said. This is every single carbon fiber trim, every little trim piece that you could do for like your interior. First off, I don't have it. It's the, the M Sport button that people put right here. Uh, they're pretty cool. I guess it makes it like a little highlight on your steering wheel. So it's just a little M button right here. It's a little carbon fiber trim piece that goes here. These are all like really like cheap, like sub $30, if not like way cheaper than that. Carbon fiber door handle guards. The black part right here, you can put a cover in there. That's carbon fiber. So, and then there's carbon fiber trim for right here so it comes with a uh, carbon fiber stick on here here and here so you can get all that carbon fiber this was tan before and i spray painted it, it looks like shit there's carbon fiber trim for around your little ac vents there's carbon fiber trim for the key insert trim right here you have colored push buttons you have crystal push buttons the crystal ones look pretty sick it's like 3d prism on the inside you can see push to start all over it you have if you have the oem shifter setup you have the carbon fiber little trim cover that goes on top of that if you have the oem boot there's a carbon fiber stick on piece that goes on top of that it's carbon fiber armrest guard so they go right over here and it just sticks on over top of that it looks pretty sick i don't know how comfortable that would be i need to get some and see how i feel about them it's a cool thing that not a lot of people with these cars have done quite yet obviously you got the carbon fiber steering wheel trim that goes right here carbon fiber trim that goes over this ashtray cover and then lastly they do sell trim the carbon fiber trim that goes over on top of these little radio and ac components where it's just matte black there's all kinds of carbon fiber pieces that you can put everywhere this is just a list of what i've found to be the popular ones that a lot of people get number six yeet oh my god the first two somehow freaking spiraled up perfectly. I apologize to whoever's parking lot this is. We have destroyed it with Diet Coke. Number six on the list, we got uh, extended paddle shifters. So I don't have them. I had the cutouts on the steering wheel though. So I do have the holes back here. If you have paddle shifters, which I keep getting shit for, I am trying to get them, but all the paddle shifter wire harnesses are like out of stock everywhere I've seen. So if you know anywhere or anyone who has them, please let me know in the comments. I cannot figure out where to find them. That's a cool option for if you have the OEM paddle shifters. It looks really sick because the OEM ones are like real small and everyone likes the big paddle shifter look. So, all right. Number seven on the list. This one goes out to you. Blue four two set hut. Oh, a bitch heavy. Oh, oh my God, that thing threw a touchdown, dude! It like went down the freaking bowling alley lane perfectly. This bowling league is sponsored by Diet Coke. Number seven, we got color gauges or custom gauge like overlays. So, so right back here, these are the OEM ones. They do sell really cool ones just that you can get like any color, red, blue, yellow, uh, green, whatever theme you're going with with your car. They have ones that say 335, N54, N55, whatever you have. They have a bunch of different options, uh, colors and all that shit. I haven't tried to do that, but I manage is kind of a lot of work for a little part. For under 100 bucks, it's a cool little thing you can do. So here's number eight. So Colin's going to try to redeem himself. He is 0 for 2 right now. Oh! 
Dude, I was so bad at filming that, but I got it. Sponsored by Diet Coke. Colin hates soda, but drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Waterfall it. Drink it. Sponsored by Diet Coke. <laughs> Number eight, we got wheel spacers. These can be over $100. They really don't need to be. Mine were under $100. So as many of you know, I have 18 by nine and a half on here, which are, so I did have to do camber shit and then get spacers to make the fitment right. So in the back, I have 35 millimeter. So the fitment's pretty tucked in there. You can barely fit your finger in there. As far as the front, I have a 15 millimeter spacer on here. So that, that's really flush in there. You also cannot fit your finger in there really satisfied with my fitment on this car it's perfect spacers are perfect to get your fitment like spot on it really makes a difference because when you have a really tuck setup or a really poke setup it kind of looks ugly i know ecs tuning has a kit where you you can like uh rent a bunch of them figure out what you need and then buy the ones you want so yeah so wheel spacers are really good for cleaning up the fitment all right number nine on the list here are right, for the final one we're gonna go to our local school and colin's gonna climb on the roof and chuck it i did not volunteer for that that was colin's idea so that was like a grenade. I don't know what I'm saying. Baseball for. Oh my God. That bitch ran. I would not want to drag race a Diet Coke. Sponsored. Number nine on our list is the Burger Motor Sport differential support. I do not have this, but if you're a track boy, a drift boy, or a boy that just wants to buy this thing, all it does is it bolts onto the diff and it keeps everything super stable. If you guys feel that you're like chassis is too loose going around corners and shit, I know a lot of people have done this. They have like seen a significant difference. If you guys go to the track and get wheel hop, feel that it is like unsturdy in the rear end. I heard that it like really changes the whole rear end when you're drifting and shit. So who knows if I ever get like super into drifting or drag racing with this car who knows the future for this thing but if that ever is the case i probably will get it just because i am trying to work out something with burger motorsport but they need to freaking answer my email so that i can get their shit on my website for this last diet coke can we're gonna wait but i'm gonna say the rest of the parts on the list and then we're gonna go to the school and chuck it off for the finale 10 number 10 on the list the vtt oil caps i know a bunch of companies are making oil caps just aluminum oil caps n54 i know the n55 they fixed it but leaky oil cap because it's all plastic and it melts away the seals and shit is leaking around there so a solution for that is to get one of these aluminum ones or some people buy the n55 oil cap and put it on there uh either way it prevents the oil from like leaking out and also it just looks a lot cooler so if you pop your hood you're like yeah bitch i got an oil cap you know what I'm saying? Moving on to number 11 now. This is a part that I've seen floating around my Instagram and shit. I do not have it yet, but it is a pretty cool option. If you do have like a newer iPhone that has wireless charging as an option, they did come out with a ashtray that's fully open and it has a wireless charging pad in there. If you do have the magnetic mount for your phone, I guess it's kind of like would ruin that whole thing because that's where you would put your phone majority of the time. And I feel like the shifter is kind of in the way and I'm not too sure how it fits in there. I'm sure it works perfectly fine. And I also seen something floating around. It's like cup holders. A 3D printed something that's like that has two cup holders that go in this position. I really can't see how that works too well. I just feel like there's not enough space right here to fit cups, even if there was cup holders right here. I'm not sure how much a cup holder thing is. I just saw it on my Instagram. It's a really good idea. I just can't see if you get like a large McDonald's cup. I cannot imagine that fitting. I feel like you would put it in park and then your cup would explode so number 13 on the list if you guys have a blow off valve or anything that has to run vacuum lines i think it's only just for like your charge pipe and blow off valve but if you look here this vacuum line a lot of people used to have to tap into the intake manifold because the vacuum line that you get from blow off valves is bigger than the oem so you'd have to drill into it and you have to jb weld like a new input on there vader solutions did come up with a adapter and that's such a good idea because i know that was a common problem in the n54 community that's awesome if you guys have blow off valves that's a good option to go with because i think you do get slight performance gains from having the adapter so it adapts to the bigger vacuum lines. The last but not least, we have an interior piece. It's just this little manual boot right here. They float right around $100. I can find them on some websites for $100 and then some slightly over $100. I do have a video. I'll throw it up on these corners installing it. It really freshens up the whole shifter situation, especially if you're an automatic boy like me and you're trying to look less like a pussy. The manual boot does look cool. I did have to like kind of mess with it a little bit to make it fit. All right, so that's going to be the end of this. I'll do the outro after Colin throws the Diet Coke off the roof, so I'll see y'all there. For all my Earth Day lovers, uh, we did throw them away. So be happy, even though I know majority of people watching this video have street pipe cars, a lot of us don't give a fuck. All right, so like promised, we're at the school in Mexico, of course, so uh, we can't get in trouble. Colin said he was gonna throw the Diet Coke off the roof of the school for the last one. Colin, you wanna give a quick shout out to your YouTube? Subscribe. <laughs> You got it? Yeah. Let's go, boy. There he is. Good old Colin on the roof. Oh. Oh. 
That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. It still wasn't the furthest one now. Yeah, I wish it went up, like instead of sideways. Sponsored by Daiko. I, I got to death. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys wanna see a part for this, let me know. I really, this time, don't know if I can come up with more parts, but if you have any more in mind, just put them in the comment section below. Follow my socials. Follow Colin. All right, so that's the end of the video. Catch you on the flip.